today we're going on a fox hunt. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ham Radio q and I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for these amateur radio adventures. And today we're going on a fox hunt. We're going to be searching for a hidden amateur radio transmitter. Kind of like the amazing race, uh, but instead of searching for clues, we're going to be uh, using a high gain directional antenna to um, search for the signal, uh, pinpoint its direction and location, and hopefully we'll find it uh, with a minimum amount of time and effort. So. Um, Sit back, enjoy the video while we're searching for the fox. Tools of the trade for the fox hunt are, of course, the, the Yagi antenna. This is a high directional uh, beam antenna. I made a video on this about a month ago on how to build your own antenna. Very simple, uh, simple antenna to build out of a tape measure and a few other parts. Uh, I've got the radio. It's, uh, we're using a Yezu VX8R. I like that radio a lot because um, it's Got a real nice, easy to read uh, SW, um, S meter on it. Attenuator. Uh, this is a homebrew one I picked up at a ham fest. I think it gives about 80 or 100 dB of um, attenuation, depending on how that they're switched up. And of course, uh, map and compass to uh, chart uh, the directions of the of the signal received. What did you bring for toys? Oh, I just brought the uh, KB9 VBR Mike Martin's J or. Uh, are you going to be selling those on your website? <laughs> I probably should. <laughs> We're now about um, 25 minutes into the Fox. I've gotten um, my initial reading uh, at our starting point. I've taken a couple other good readings. Uh, used the attenuator in the, um, along with the, the antenna to really knock down the signal. And right now, uh, with uh, three good, with one decent heading and two good ones, I've got a pretty good idea where this fox might be located based upon uh, signal strength readings and sort of a general intuition of how the um, RF, RF signals kind of float around uh, the city here. If you know, you know, if you, if you know where you're searching, sometimes that makes uh, finding the fox a little bit easier. You know, it's uh, city of Wassa here is a little bit is in the river valley, so we got hilly spots and um, we got low spots, and I got a feeling it might be on a on a hilly spot. Okay, after about an hour and a half of messing around here, we finally got close to the thing. And sure enough, with attenuation full speed ahead, we've found the fox nice. on a Yagi, pointing towards the water tower. Yeah. Well, we found the fox. It was a little more uh, tricky than what than what I was expecting. Uh, the fox master used a highly directional antenna, a Yagi, instead of um, an omnidirectional antenna on the fox. So its um, its pattern was uh, very unpredictable as I was cruising around town. But eventually, we homed in on the signal, and uh, we and we got it. So it was a it was a real good time. Great great experience. I love I love fox hunting. So. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for joining me. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Also, if you like this video, come on, I'll give me a big thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. Any questions or comments uh, about fox hunting with this video, please leave them in the, the comments below. Love to hear them, uh, what you're, if you've done any fox hunting or whatnot, or if that's something you want to get into. Well, uh, I try to answer all of the questions that I can. With that, uh, this is Michael, KB9 VBR. Thanks again for watching. 73.